Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for September 9th and 10th, Monday and Tuesday for my Virgos. Happy birthday, Virgos. Okay, so this is the Monday, Tuesday reading. Yes, I am using my Radley Valentine Angel Tarot cards. I have prayed, meditated, and infused the deck with Reiki energy, but remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. Let's go right into our reading. Let's see what we have here. I'm hoping you're feeling the lightness of this month. It is a much nicer energy. Also, too, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate that. Thank you. And one, two, and three. So three cards face down. The middle cloud is reversed. So that means a stronger message. At least that's how I read this. So the first card. The King of Water. Didn't you just get this? King of Water has been coming around. And you have to understand that a lot of times with the energies, it's more or less a continuation of what we have been talking about. So the more that we have actually that same message, it's all unfolding. It's all coming to pass. The King of Water, trustworthy, compassionate, respected, cultured. Open your heart and mind to those around you. Trustworthy and heartfelt advice, charity work. And, you know, the king of water to me is somebody very giving, somebody that actually, let me take that back, not necessarily so much giving as much as a, an emotional protector, okay? Now, water is our Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio energy. It's emotional energy. It's fluid energy. And the king is very much the royal. He is in charge. It could be male or female, but it is more that masculine energy that's more in charge. But there's also this emotional protection going on. Now, for my Virgos, that could mean that you could have somebody from one of those signs coming into your, into your sphere, into your energies um, this Monday and Tuesday. It could also be that there could be, okay, we're going to go, there could be an emotional relationship that's also taking precedence. Okay, let's see what this next card says. And this is the one reversed. The five of water, again, it's that water energy. And this is kind of an emotional up and down. This is an emotional like, oh, do I want to, you know, oh, I just feel kind of icky inside. I don't necessarily know what I want to do. So there could be some decision making again. Of course, we're always talking about some decisions. But these are things not turning out the way you'd hope, not seeing the positive in a situation, crying over spilled milk. So whatever, and you know, whatever this, there's, so, Monday, Tuesday energy is about being more emotional, about being more, um, I'm almost feeling almost invested also. So maybe there's something that you're very invested in, maybe that you feel very, um, you know, very committed to. And it's just, you know, all the pieces aren't going into place the way you wanted them to go into. But this King of Water, whatever this, this is a very mature emotional energy. And I really feel that either that is you you know, this could be somebody totally different that's been working with this, you know, with this project with you or with this emotional um, investment with you. Um, or it could be yourself, too, that you just are now, maybe, you know, maybe you have, um, I don't know, maybe you've outgrown something. Maybe you've outgrown something emotionally. Let's see your last card. Life experience. Okay, life experience. This is your energy. This is your season. And life experience is Archangel Shamuel. It is, you know, one of the major arcana cards. And this talks about a significant life event, a powerful revelation that leads to change. Time to spread your wings. So there could be some sort of an emotional thing going on. And remember, relationships can be work your job, your career even, you know, you know, and, and it's not necessarily your work as much as it could be that, you know, you just want to say, nope, I don't want to do anything. I don't want to do this anymore. It's not creating satisfaction to me. It's not bringing me satisfaction. I don't know who that's for, but that's what I'm feeling from these cards. Or it could be an intimate relationship that you're just kind of like, you know, this, is, this isn't really, um, you know, I don't see myself with you in five years. Um, and that could be your work too. Or it could be something with family. It's like now maybe maybe I've been living with my family and now it's time to actually lead my family because I need to spread my wings. Because this is, you know, whatever this emotional component is, it does, you know, again, I come back to the king of water. There is an emotional maturity with this. 
So I think that whatever this, you know, I, should, I don't know, is it a decision or whatever this thought pattern is that, you know, I, you know, my Virgos, you probably have reasoned it out quite well, but the energies are, you know, the energies are kind of you, um, you know, I, I don't know, I'm feeling that somebody is outgrowing something. It's like an out, you're outgrowing something and it's like, no, I need to move on. Okay. It doesn't, it's not necessarily a break from that you know that relationship it's just i need to now take it to another level or i need to move on and actually do something different so again a significant life event a powerful revelation that leads to change time to spread your wings and that's more the case that that keeps coming back to me time to spread your wings it's like you know it, it's it's for my virgos it's a little bit interesting i mean it's very interesting to me because it's, you know, you're, you're pretty much, you pretty much plot your course, you know, you're pretty, you pretty much think about things, but this is kind of like, this, this might be even an emotional, or I'm sorry, an impulsive, I know we don't have the page here, but this could be an, an impulsive decision, but even though it might be impulsive, there's still an emotional maturity to it, so... Hey, you know what? You, I know that my Virgos, that whatever this is, now granted this is this is something that could actually um, continue through the week, continue through the rest of the month, or it just might be just that uneasiness for the day or two. That just kind of like, you know, that, that feeling of like, I just want to break out, okay? And that could just be what that is. You're going to figure it out. You will figure it out, my Virgos. So my Virgos, as always, know that you are loved. And be blessed. Bye-bye.